John Cale. James Sawyer. I'm gonna get you out of here. The stories we want to see. Somebody is bigger than life and can do what we all would want to do in a situation like that. Jamie and Channing, their personalities just really meshed well together. Whatever you do, I'll do. How are you doing that shit? Okay, I've got a lot. They really played off of each other with a great energy and the great sort of natural humor that was there. It was never forced. Okay, let's get ready for these pictures. Here we go. And me. And action. I know you're into peace and all that. You gotta stick that thing out there and go to work. Damn, Mike. Is it two jokes? Uh, quiet, quiet. No, it's not. Here we go. Please, please. You have to only play it really serious. Channing Tatum's a southern cat like I am. I'm a southern boy, so there's a certain I still pinch myselfness to people from the south. The older he gets, the more he feels like the everyman. Really reminds me a little bit of Steve McQueen. You know, he has the same kind of feel of coolness about him. If our actors can get in the water. They just liked each other, and you felt it on the set. They're both very down to earth. We're all south based. You smoke? Need to do that. I've been watching him since his TV show. I'm such a huge fan, like a fan fan. <laughs> He's such a talented guy that it's ridiculous. I mean, he literally can do anything creative on the face of the planet. Like, if he told me he was painting and sculpting, like, a photo of real people on the side, I would be like, yeah, of course you are. <laughs> We did a lot of improvisation, which they always do, and they were both very good at it. There were all these little things that they added that definitely came out of that sort of fun, easy banter that they had. OK, I got it. Hey, here we go, please. Tell me you got some weapons in the residence. Whether it was Channing deciding that the knives that he's got in the kitchen. We got some knives in the kitchen. Great, you can make me a sandwich. Or Jamie being claustrophobic in the elevator shaft. I got to get out of here because I don't like uh, tight places. I got to get out of here. Why don't you loosen a tie? I'm not bad. I'm your jacket. I'm the president. <laughs> yeah, I need to get out of here because I don't like just chill out. Let me think. <laughs> so, uh, I just told the president to chill out. Uh, you have to get out of here because I don't like. I don't, I don't like tell me you're claustrophobic, man. We gotta know claustrophobic. No, I don't like tight places. That's what claustrophobic is. Just, just. I can't believe we're. On top of an elevator, it's just like a movie. It's crazy. It's <laughs> it quite funny in a way. And I said, guys, can you stop that? <laughs> can we, like, I don't know, do the shot? It's under your tire or something. Yeah. I just got a feeling that uh, the White House is down. <laughs> <laughs> any more different but Jamie Foxx and Channing Tatum it's just a magical pair of actors and last time I've seen that was maybe with a lethal weapon special agent Kale I'm not going anywhere without my protection very much concentrated on the characters. The thing goes down, removed, that you're like kind of crouching on top of it, okay. right? It's Roland, always fun to work with. Kind of had a little bit of everything. Just, you know, car chase, fights, falls, the usual good stuff. I think it helps we can, in advance, shoot a lot of the fights. It's just like a rough guideline. And then it will help us to kind of determine certain things that we do like, don't like, and Roland can say, not so much, or, you know, maybe change this or make it longer. 